Coach, can you start us off with some opening comments? Sure. First of all, um, no secret, uh, they're a quality club and uh, didn't give us an inch. I was proud of our group coming out. I told them we needed to swing the first punch, hit the, you know, and make contact. Uh, but, and we did. We did a good job. And, you know, the game got away from us in the second inning. And that, I mean, that's the, really the storyline for me because uh, – we gave a, a really good club, um, you know, three extra outs, which is a coach's nightmare, a player's nightmare. Um, so, but you know what? They're they're a quality group. Um, pitcher didn't give us anything. He made thought he found another gear after the second inning when they scored. I thought he went to a different level and uh, started getting like looking like a Friday night guy. So you got to tip your cap to him. And you know, our guy was. Um, we just made too many mistakes tonight and had to get had to dig dig deep in that second inning and it hurt us. So questions. Nick Ryan Riles and you know y'all got to him the first two innings with a run in each of the first and second. What did he do to settle in and kind of get the best of y'all in there? Um, I mean at the beginning his velo uh, it was kind of lower than we saw in the video, but in the later innings he definitely started hitting his spots more and pumped it up to another another level. Well, I think, you know, it's a, it's a quality regional. I mean, it, it, it really is. There's nowhere to hide. And, um, you know, they, they lost a tough one today on, on, you know, kind of a tough miscue, ball, ball in play. So they're probably stinging a little bit too. Um, but matchup wise, we've got to, we got to put this one behind us, turn around early in the morning and play, which is a tough, tough deal sometimes. So, we just have to come out with a fresh start, which is hard to do in this game sometimes. You're still thinking about the night before, but you know, Connor settled us down a little bit. Uh, you know, hit him for five innings, if I'm not mistaken. And um, maybe I started the wrong pitcher tonight uh, on me, but uh, you know, I'm joking on that. But it was—I uh, I think we we're going to have to to match the intensity because I said the crowd's not going to be as big, and whoever wants it more tomorrow. Nick, I know you guys are accustomed to seeing Miller go a lot deeper into games. Does it affect? Uh, I wouldn't say so, because I know a lot of guys on our bench can do the job, and our whole lineup hits one through nine. So I mean, I feel like we could pick him up no matter how he does. Nick, talk about what you tell your teammates heading into Missouri State tomorrow. How you get them ready for the game? You just got to keep your head up. I mean, the guy we face tonight is going to be probably a first rounder. So I mean, we just got to go after him. How do you evaluate Miller's outing today? Um, uncharacteristic, uh, to be honest. Um, you know, he, he, I just thought he made made some, you know, bad mistakes where where damage could be done. I think, um, you know, you, you just like you said, they're a quality club. They, they're where they are, on, on, you know, for a reason. So the the margin for error is just not there. And you know, sometimes throughout the season you can get away with it, and it catches you in a, in a big game. And we knew that going in. Of course, you don't voice that and say that out loud, but. Um, it just is. The margin for error is just tough. You got an SEC club that's that's just not gonna, you know. And I thought a couple two strike at bats, you know, uh, yeah, the home runs were great, but they didn't get pull happy. They just didn't try to do too much. And you know, hats off to to Mike and Clem for for you know having a great game plan. And you know, like I said yesterday, there were no secrets and any any type of mistakes at all. But Miller left too too many balls up and out over the plate. And I thought we needed to get inside better, which Connor did a good job of later. So. To me, that was the storyline from a pitching perspective.